Hey, this is Aiden. We're in the reigning arena at the World Equestrian Dames for the first day of competition. We are going to be checking out what reigning is all about, so check out this clip. Reining is a western riding sport that has grown out of traditional cattle horse moves in the United States of America. It was first recognized as a competitive sport in 1949 and became an FEI discipline in 2000. Any horse can be used but the American quarter horse is preferred due to its powerful hind quarters, agility and calm temperaments. Similar to a dressage test, a pattern is performed which must show up to 12 specific maneuvers, including spins, flying lead changes, and the most famous of them all, the sliding stop, making the crowds cheer and whoop. The competition is broken down into individual and team events. The team event is first. Four members compete in the team event and the top three scores count. Each maneuver of the pattern is judged on precision, smoothness and finesse. The degree of difficulty is also assessed. Combinations begin on a score of 70 and points are deducted for poor execution or added for excellence in half point increments. A maximum plus 1.5 and minimum minus 1.5 for each maneuver. Deductions are made for faults. The top 15 riders from the team event will automatically qualify for the individual event, with a further top five wildcard places available from the runners-up competition. No scores are carried over from the team event, so all must put in their best moves to test again. The same rules apply to the individual event, and the combination with the highest score will be crowned the world individual reigning champion and the best reigning athlete on the planet. And we're back with Kay McCutcheon, the youngest U.S. Rainer rider ever, who just finished his ride of a score of 229. So how did you do? I did as good as I feel like I possibly could have done. I've never done that good. I've never been close to doing that good before. This is the highest score I've marked by five and a half points. It was, it was a lot of fun. My horse was as good as it could have been. That's so amazing. Congratulations. So could you explain a little bit about your course that you did today? Uh, we did four spins to the left and four, four spins to the right. And my first turns were really, really good, and that's his good way. The second way, he was as good as he could have been. And then I put the hammer down circling, and he was there for me the whole time. So could you explain to me a little bit about how many, are there different events that are in reigning? No, I mean, there's different levels, like professionals and non-professionals, and rookie riders and stuff, but it's all usually the same thing. We got 12 patterns, and that's about all we do. So, what's your favorite part of the 12 patterns? Depends on the horse I'm on. This horse, I love to circle him. He is the best to just run fast circles on and slow down. You know, but some horses they're better at stopping, so I like stopping him better. So, um, how long have you had this horse? We, my grandparents actually raised him, and I started riding him when he was four, and he's seven now. So I've had him for three years. Years, and he's been very consistent for me all three years. Um, so what is the optimal age of a competition horse? Is, the, is seven a good age for it? For this competition, yeah, I think seven is perfect because they're still young and fresh, but that's as young as they can be to show on this. Sounds good. Well, we're going to be leading off to our horseshoe challenge. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And on to the horseshoe challenge. Okay, so as the competitions are going on inside of the rings, live at Tryon is going to bring you our very own horseshoe challenge. Every day we're going to pit a couple of contestants against each other. One is going to go, me. Oops, then our next contestant is going to go, and you are? Aiden Ullier. Aiden, go for it. Oh, ooh, that's almost a good one. <laughs> and then I am going to go. And then Aiden goes. And we'll walk over, we'll see which one is closest. Mine is obviously closest, so I'll get one point. We're gonna do best of three. We're gonna have some amazing prizes. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so we got the explanation on the horseshoe challenge. And today we have two countries pitted against each other. We have Team Spain and Team Mexico. And representing Team Spain is? Juan Mateo de Guimón and Fernando Martínez. All right, let's see how round one goes. First up, Mexico. 
Very nice. No, then Team Spain. Oh no! That may have just cost you this round. Oh! Team Mexico for the win! All right, now we must recollect our horseshoes. Good thing it was a warm up, right? <laughs> Not quite. This is business. All right, starting again from round two. Let's see. You have a chance. I say I go now. I say no, okay. it's my, my All chance right. to go first. Loser of round one gets to go first. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Mexico, let's go. Oh, this may be a close one. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. It's Team Spain. All right. Now we have the tiebreaker, round three. This is for the win. All righty. For the win. No pressure, guys. All right, Team Mexico goes first. One by one. One by one. Keep the pressure on. Oh, Team Spain. Ooh. Okay. We got it. Oh, that's a tough one. Ah. Team Fine. Mexico Fine. for the win! Well, we're gonna definitely be keeping oh you on the rosters for future competitions, so stay tuned for bragging rights prizes. Maybe I'll sweeten the pot with something else later on, but next time, guys, catch you later. And just to let you guys know, Aiden is pretty competitive, so I think me and her are gonna have a side bet on that horseshoe challenge. Now I'm down at the endurance area. Now the athletes and their horses are out there right now about to come in for their second check. We'll get to that in a little bit, but before these athletes got going in earnest this morning, last night they had a chance to enjoy the opening ceremonies. Before the events go underway, we're here at the opening ceremonies getting the sights and sounds of Tryon 2018. Let's go check it out. We're here with Colleen, a venture rider. How is your day going today? My day is going great. So far, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be good when they start coming in with the flags. It's always nice to see people proudly carrying their flag. Absolutely. And the concert after should be entertaining. We're here with two Australian grooms for reigning. McKinnon. Tanya. So what are you guys looking forward to most about the opening ceremonies? Um, you know, just seeing how many different countries there are and how the horse industry affects the nation, you know, everywhere. And get showing Australia off. Yes, for sure, <laughs> for sure. I'm here with Nancy, who is a fan of the World Equestrian Games. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Aiden. So how far have you traveled today? We are down from Michigan, so it's about 700 miles. That's a pretty far distance. So what are you looking forward to most? Um, I am also volunteering here, so I am going to be participating with the dressage tomorrow. I am taking care of the mascots one day. The mascots? Mascots, yes. And then I am also doing um, interviewing spectators and doing spectator survey interviews. So you're, you could be taking my job one day then? Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> So today we're with a couple of fans and riders. So my name is Miranda Macias. I'm from Mexico. And why are you here? We came to watch our rider compete for Spain. I'm Luciana Macias and I'm also a rider. So how are you guys enjoying the opening ceremony so far? Good. We watch our Mexico flag pass by. Yeah. Good. A lot of energy from the Mexican team. So now that we've finished the flag presentation, right now we've got the headlining performer Hunter Hayes. So let's come and watch. So I'm with Hunter after the opening ceremonies and you just completed your amazing set. Actually, the second concert I've ever been to in my really? entire existence. Oh my God, what, 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 was this, what was the first one? One Direction when I was 16 years old. <laughs> okay, gotcha. But anyways, how did you feel about our little equestrian world? Oh man, it's so fun. I, like I said, I mean, I sat on stage because I, I felt that all day. You know, we, we got on the grounds and um, and it's incredible to be around so many people who are like just so passionate about one thing. And so like they, they live for this, like I live for music. So do you have any like actual connections to the horse world? Do you ever ride? I, I don't. I'm obsessed. 
from an outsider's perspective, I don't know anything about it. I kind of feel like in like my 10 year life plan, one of the things I, I want to do is learn more about this world. Well, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you giving me time. And yeah. this is the end of the opening ceremonies. Such a fun time, guys. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Cheers. So we're down here at the endurance uh, area where they have the pulse check. They have, like you say, the athletes are also and then they have to trot, and then they're going to come into this area here. Now, not a lot of people are on. I'm going to see if I can. Get, excuse me. Can we grab you for a second? See if I can grab somebody quickly from, I think the Belgian team. How are you? Hi. Hi. My name is Nick. This is FEI TV. How are you doing? Fine. Hello. Can you tell us um, the athletes and the horses are out there? How are things going? Good. They are on loop. They just went to the first loop, and I think they just passed the first crew point, and nothing galloping, and they're doing good. How are your horses doing? Good. They went like if it was the first loop. Beautiful. They after doing the four, first 40 kilometers, but yes, they are doing great. And you're expecting everything to be the same. You're not worried about the weather or anything. The weather is warm, but it's okay. Uh, very uh, lots of humidity but they are, by the moment, accepting the weather. That's awesome. Thanks so much. Um, as I am trying to learn more and more about endurance here, you can have a look at this piece and, uh, and check it out. Endurance originates from the United States when the fitness of cavalry horses was tested by riding them over 160 kilometers in a single day. It was first recognized as an organized activity when a group of U.S. equestrians rode the historic 100-mile Western States Trail in under 24 hours in 1955. Modern-day endurance riding, as the name suggests, involves horse and rider tackling long-distance races at a set minimum speed. Vet checks are in place on every course to ensure that the horses are in good condition to compete and continue in the race. At the FEI World Equestrian Games, nations can field a maximum of four horses and riders. A country which doesn't have a team can send one or two individual competitors. The race is 160 kilometers and will be completed in one day. The course will have five loops which must be completed. After each loop, there will be a vet check. The horse must remain in the vet gate for a certain time to ensure it's recovered before going back on course. A final vet check must also be completed once the race is finished. This is a crucial part of the race, as a horse can still be eliminated at this stage. The individual winner is the first horse who is passed by all the vet's checks and crosses the line first. The nation who has the three fastest combined score will be crowned team champions. On their road to Tryon, the Royal Cavalry of Oman Endurance Team has had immediate success with their French trainer, Romain Laporte, placing third at the 2012 World Championship, a seventh place individually at Normandy 2014 for Saleh Al Belushi, and then a fifth place for the team at the Longines FEI World Championships in Samarin. I think the Omani team is now, it's like family for. The team is like the, the end, you understand what I mean? And it's very important and uh, the mentality of Romani team, he, he follow my way and he follow the philosophy also. And now we understand what I, I try to teach between the start and now. And success. The philosophy for this sport is the um, respect of the animals first and uh, take the time for build the horse and for build the rider also. You try to teach something, uh, some, this mentality to the to the Omani guys, and now I think he understand that, and uh, he have only need to take care of the horse, and uh, and after he knows the job. There is no doubt the influence that Roman has had on the team, particularly his hands-on approach as trainer. For the coach, I think is one hundred percent. He's like my friend, he's like my brother, because he's listening to the rider, and the rider is listening to the coach. Like he's I doing Oman team, Omani rider with the coach, he's do like that. Having ridden on the French team that won the bronze medal at the European Championships in 2009, Romain is all too aware of the quality of the competition they will face in trial. We need to take care of the Spain team. The UA team also, 
and after the French team. But in a sport of fine margins, has the Royal Oman Cavalry Endurance Team found that extra edge? To be the best, I think everything is really important. The mentality of the rider and the quality of the rider and the quality of the horse also. Everything around the horse is to be 100%. As you know, food is really important to all of us athletes and regular people around here. And at the showgrounds, everybody gets a little bit hangry. We're just expending so much energy, and even our horses, they get hungry too. But let's go over to our Canadian bacon, Nick, who is undoubtedly stuffing his face in the kitchen right now. And he's going to be showing you a little bit about what's going on here about food. Okay, so it wasn't going to take me long to find out these places. This is uh, Chef Yvonne. Chef, I'm a big foodie. Can you tell me a little bit about this restaurant? Well, Campagna's was open a few years ago, um, and I came on in March and took over the, the restaurant and uh, brought in all my family recipes and, and have gone from there. What kind of family recipes? Uh, from my great-grandmother uh, from Sicily. Um, she, uh, I got handed down all of her recipes and um, been using them through the years. What's the specialty? Uh, well, a lot of people like my lasagna for no, number one and my meatballs made right here in house. And my chicken parm is also really good because I put uh, lemon zest in my breadcrumbs. Beautiful. My mom always used to put cottage cheese in lasagna. Is that a, a no-go or? I use ricotta cheese. Yeah. Ricotta and mozzarella. Beautiful. Um, now the games are here. Uh, it's going to be really, really busy. What can we expect? Uh, from, what can you expect from the games? Well, from the games, I, I have already been turning over, like, having a lot of teams in here, and um, they keep repeating themselves because things are that good here. Uh, with my team here, uh, we plan on turning out pretty uh, good food every day. So but, apart from from the specialty. And, and grandmother's recipes and stuff like I know you mentioned that you you source locally with the food here uh, we do pull for some local uh, farmers here from time to time um, that's you know that's what we'll be doing here uh, just to give back to the community beautiful now are you uh, an equestrian person yourself I grew up with horses but not the style that is here except for maybe the reining and and um, the in, under the uh, arena You're right I used to do barrel racing myself western riding so not jumping. So what will you be watching? We're keeping an eye out for. Will you be able to get time to go watch some stuff? I'm hoping to. Um, I have in, in the past before the games have been able to see the jumping that we've normally had on Saturday Night Lights in here. But I'm hoping to be able to see some raining because that's what I know. What I know. But I hope to. But okay. guess comes first. Well, I'm here because I got a taste of food. Excellent. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, guys, just a reminder that this show is completely interactive. And thank you so much for all of the people who tweeted in yesterday with your comments uh, to these hashtags, um, B1, at B1 and at Tryon2018. Now, 99% of, um, of the tweets and the comments came in were about the weather. So I just want to let you know that uh, Tryon Equestrian Center is actually built as an evacuation um, place for all of the horses in the local area. So the horses, number one, are going to be all safe. And uh, as for us, well, you know, I can swim and the cameraman can swim. I'm sure Aiden can swim. So we're all going to be fine. But please get in touch with us with photos, videos, and, and let's be interactive. Come down and try and find us, okay? So uh, just to let you know about tomorrow's schedule, um, <laughs> Dressage team and individual Grand Prix uh, session three is going to be kicking off um, in the afternoon. Event dress dressage test sessions one and two, and then endurance best condition and medals. They'll be going on at uh, 9.50 our time and uh, 3.50 in Central Eastern time. So um, stay tuned for those. And also, guys... Um, if you want to uh, be involved and see more of what's going on with the sport, don't forget, go, go to FEI.TV and you can get all of the sporting that's going on. They're doing live streaming of all of the events there. And then don't forget to tune in with us tomorrow at 12 o'clock EDT and we'll be bringing you more behind the scenes action. But for now, from all of us, it's goodbye and have a great day.